Just a quick note, um, in this video I'm about to show you how to install a cell module inside of a 2 gig GC2E alarm system. Uh, and when I went to do this, um, we actually had the system powered on and I, I already had the cell module installed, but at the spur of the moment I decided to take it out so you could see the port and then I put it back in without powering down the panel. Uh, that's a big no-no. Uh, this unfortunately fried our 2 gig GC2E system and now we are going to have to replace it with the new one. Um, so just a, a warning for all of you, a serious warning, make sure to power down your system fully before you ever install a cellular communicator. Uh, you have to disconnect the backup battery and disconnect the uh, transformer. Make sure it's fully powered down, then install the cellular communicator. Don't do what I did. Make sure your system doesn't break. Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to show you how to install a cellular communicator inside a 2 gig GC2E security system. Now we actually have a cellular communicator already installed in the system, but I'm going to be opening it up and showing you how it is installed. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to talk about the purpose of a cellular communicator. Uh, this system does not have built-in Wi-Fi, so it relies on a cellular communicator for sending out signals such as alarm signals or if um, a Z-Wave transmission needs to go through. Um, it's going to communicate through cellular communication. Um, and that it allows it to communicate with the alarm.com servers, uh, which can then forward alerts to the end user and or a central monitoring station, depending on what type of monitoring plan you have. And you're going to want to have a monitoring plan with this, otherwise it will just be a local sounder and the cellular communicator will not be activated and it will not work. And if you're adding a cellular communicator to the system, we recommend uh, getting an LTE model. Um, LTE networks are expected to be kept in service for a very, very long time. And with the uh, 3G CDMA sunsets, those older communicators won't work anymore. Um, so make sure you get an LTE communicator. Uh, the GC2E actually uses the same cellular communicators as what you would use on a 2 gig Go Control GC2. Um, but like, like I said, make sure you get an LTE model. Uh, we have AT&T and Verizon ones for sale on our site. Just choose whichever uh, network works, works better in your area. So make sure to go LTE. Um, but the process for installing the communicator is pretty simple. Uh, you have to open up panel, which I'm going to demonstrate now. Uh, so you just take um, this front plate off. You kind of just get your fingernail under there and pull it off. It pops off. And then the tricky part is um, uh, taking this off. Um, you see this unlock before opening. We didn't have to do anything with that. Um, but if yours is locked, you can release it there. And that's, that's how you would get inside it. So you just kind of stick your flathead screwdriver in there. Uh, to where it comes out, and I believe I got the first one, didn't I? Okay, we'll do that, and um, let's see, nope, didn't get it quite yet. Just gotta get this one in there, and actually I think I missed the other one as well, so we're just gonna go and um, do that. There we go, we got the tamper cover so we know it's open, <laughs> and you just kind of get it in there. There we go, got it open. So. Uh, here's the inside of the 2 gig GC2E and um, this right here, this portion, is the cellular communicator. And uh, it actually has two screws um, that we connect in there. Um, it has a port at the bottom. Um, you know what, I'm just going to go and show you what it looks like actually. Um, so bear with me one second, got to flip our screwdriver around real quick. And uh, so it's a Phillips head, see, magic, like that. And uh, if I undo these screws here, then I can show you what it looks like. We'll speed this up for you. Okay, so we undid our screws um, to be able to remove the cellular community. Um, to be able to remove Communicator. And as you can see, it has this uh, nice uh, port. Uh, that's the male section, that's the female section right there. And you can just uh, go and plug it in. You just make sure it clicks into place. Um, there you go. See, it locks into place like that. Now, uh, your communicator will likely also have an antenna. Um, some use multiple uh, antenna ports. This one only has one. And you can see the antenna. Uh, we'll bring it out here for a second. Um, here's the other end of the antenna. And you just want to slide it through the back plate and stick it somewhere where it can get good cell signal. Uh, you don't stick it in here, which although that fits really nicely, um, that's not the antenna port. You just want to slide it through the back plate like so. 
And um, so you just kind of um, click it into the port, and then you can go and do the screws, which I'll do right now. And again, we'll speed this up. <laughs> okay, uh, now we have our screws inserted and the communicator is secured. Um, and we're ready to go uh, for closing the system. And by the way, uh, just to point out, this is actually an older 3G model that's not activated, um, but any communicator is going to follow the same process. Uh, like we said, make sure to get an LTE communicator if you're looking to get a new communicator for your GC2E security system. We have some listed on our site. Um, so then you can just close it up. You just kind of pop it back into place here. And there we go. We're looking good. And we can just pop the front cover back on. And uh, we cut power to the system, but um, we'll cross that bridge next time. <laughs> um, anyway, that's how you install a cellular communicator inside a 2 gig GC2E security system. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like this video. And if you found this video helpful, um, remember to subscribe to our channel to get updates on future videos. And if you have any questions about the 2 gig GC2E or about alarm monitoring service, or if you're interested in activating a cellular communicator for a GC2E for monitoring service or any other system that you might want to use, um, send us an email at support at alarmgrid.com. And we'd be happy to help you out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.